In this video, we're going to talk about using Kami, a PDF annotation tool. There are four videos contained here. The first video will discuss what Kami is and demonstrate its tools. The second video will show students and teachers how to install and set up Kami. Video number three is option number one. Um, we can integrate Kami with Schoology PDF assignments. However, it requires a Kami paid version. The fourth option, if you really like the Kami tool, is option number two here. Uh, you can use Kami with Google Drive, so you can create automatic copies of PDFs to your students through Kami and Google Drive, and then they can turn those PDF assignments in to you in potentially a Schoology assignment or wherever else you're collecting assignments. Times are indicated next to where each video falls in this longer video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at what Kami can do for you and your students during this time. Kami is a PDF annotation and commenting tool with the capabilities of creating own copies for students, and then the students can turn them in. Uh, in this video, we're going to focus on what Kami can do, and we're going to focus on the free version here. Uh, so first off, we have our PDF loaded into Kami. Uh, that's here. We see we have options on the left on how we can annotate. Anything with a lock requires the premium access, and we're not paying for that. We're using the free one here. Uh, if you want to expand to toggle the descriptions, it shows you a description right here, if you're not familiar with them. But let's go through and see what we can do here. So the first thing we can do is uh, we can mark up a PDF in any way we want. We can choose different colors. We can choose more colors. We can you know, strike through, underline, uh, do box highlighters. So students can box highlight things. They can do a simple text highlighter that highlights just text. Double clicking highlights the word. Uh, they can do strike throughs if they like to. And they can underline things. So there's different ways that students can interact with this in a very similar way that you might have students use Google Read and Write when they're on a Google Doc. We can also comment like a Google Doc. We notice that voice comments and video comments uh, and screen captures are part of the premium service, but we are allowed to use uh, text comments. So like normal, students would click here, insert their comment, click Enter, and it posts their comment. We can see that it's identified here. They can change the color of their comment as it is indicated in the text if they'd like to. Maybe different comments are for different types of information or different analyses that they're performing. Uh, next, we can also insert text boxes. So if you have a PDF where you're asking maybe students to answer questions in a box that's already there, or you want them to um, simply annotate on the text itself, um, they can insert a text box. Want to, they can change the color of it here. Now, once they insert these annotations, uh, they can change them. They're not static, meaning they're dynamic here. So if I go back and I click my mouse icon, um, I can start clicking and I can actually uh, fill the colors if I want to. I can change the size, I can delete anything. And so any of these annotations can be edited after uh, they've already been created by the student by selecting one of these mouse icons here. Some more tools that they have are drawing tools. So let's say you may have math worksheets and they need to um, you know, display functions or do graphing. Maybe it's economics that you're working with, or maybe you're just asking them to draw a representation of something that they're learning about. Lots of different ways that they can draw. There's the thickness, there's the color. So they can do all kinds of things, just like if it was a Google drawing, um, but they're doing it on a PDF here. They can also insert shapes. Let me see here. And of course, at the end, if they need to erase something, uh, they can erase, um, clear all annotations. So if they click the eraser and they hover over it, uh, it's just going to click and it's going to delete the annotation that they made. So they can go ahead and delete those if they wanted to. Again, if they want to move them or modify them, uh, they would select the mouse icon and uh, they could modify them as they need to. Bigger, color, all that kind of stuff, or trash. So these are a handful of Kami features that you can use with your students um, during this time if you need them to access and interact with a PDF. Once the students are done annotating their PDF, there's many ways that they can turn it in. The next couple of videos will show you how students can get a shareable link directly to this annotated document that they've created. Additionally, we'll take a look at how they can turn this in um, if you're using Schoology. To install Kami, we're going to go to the Google bar and we're going to type in a Kami Chrome extension. 
It's going to do a Google search and pull up the Chrome Web Store with Cami right here. We're going to select the first item. We're going to click Add to Chrome. And we're going to add the extension. The extension will populate into our toolbar up here to the top right. When you've done that, go ahead and open up the Cami Chrome extension. It's going to take you to the Cami website, and it's going to ask you to confirm by logging in with your Google account. Go ahead and select your teacher Google account, and it's going to take you to the Cami homepage. At this point, we're all set up. We have the extension installed, and we've logged in to the Cami web app. Close that. Now let's go back to Schoology and create our, our, our Cami PDF assignment. We're going to go ahead and click Add Materials. Uh, you can do this uh, with an assignment here. So we'll select Add Assignment. Wait for this to load. Do, 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 do. Cool. Give it a name. Okay, you can put a description in here in the box. There we go. So let's do that. Cami PDF assignment, go ahead and put your description here. Now we notice assign from app. Uh, we can select Cami now because we've installed it here. You may have to reload your Schoology page in order for this to work. I just had to do that. Go ahead and click Cami. Cami's gonna connect with your Google Drive here. You can search within here, but since we're doing PDFs, we can just click PDFs here. Go ahead and find the PDF you want to have your students work on. Select the PDF. Uh, the PDF is selected here. It's going to generate its own copy for students in Cami. And when they click this, it'll generate a copy for them. Again, go ahead and put your directions in here. And we're all set to go. We're going to click Create. Review our assignment. This is what it looks like from the teacher perspective. No submissions, and that's all we've done so far. That's how you set it up from the teacher perspective. From the student perspective, I'm gonna go ahead and go to a student view now. now. The first thing the students need to do is they need to also install the Cami Chrome extension. They can do this, they have access to it. It's a free install. So this, she already has it installed, it's right there. So she's ready to go. Go ahead and go to my Schoology course. Yeah. Log in with my student account. Go ahead and go to the course. Okay, so now I'm here. I see my teacher has a Cami PDF assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click that. Now what I'm going to see here from a student view is I'm going to open the assignment with Cami. It's going to open up a new tab. It's going to go to the uh, Cami website. I'm going to log in with my school Google account. Go ahead and click Allow. And so what this does is it's importing it from Schoology into Cami right now. And students have all kinds. Go ahead and authorize Google Drive if it prompts for you. It certainly will do this the first time you use this app or extension. Okay, uh, now what Cami allows students to do is um, write on top of a PDF. So I have all these options over here. Um, links work, so I can click links if I'm a student, if I want to. Um, these locked icons mean that these are premium tools. So we don't have access to these with a free account. Um, but we do have access tools to mark up. We could strike, under through, highlight, all kinds of stuff. So there's lots of options. We can actually insert comments. The students can insert comments here if they'd like to. So there's a lot of Google Doc features that students can access by using Cami to add and annotate this PDF. There's drawing, there's shapes. Uh, you can erase, of course, as well. So now let's say the students are done. They can also insert a text box. So let's say I'm done. I'm ready to go. Um, I see that Cami has saved it. Students can undo it, and they can zoom in up here. Now all they have to do is click Turn In. And when they click Turn In, it notices that it's a Schoology assignment. I'm going to go ahead and click Turn In. 
it's going to redirect me to Schoology to finalize the turn-in process. So this is a little bit of a two-step turn-in for students. The first step would be to click turn in on Cami. It's then going to redirect me and ask me to say, okay, here's my PDF from Cami. Go ahead and confirm your submission. And now in Schoology, the student would click submit. They see this sign here. They know that they're submitted and they're all good to go. At this point, the student is done and has turned in their assignment. Now let's go back to the teacher view. So now I'm a teacher and I see, I go to the assignment and I see that Jennifer Miller has turned in her work. And it's going to open up. Up here, it gives me a link to her document on Cami, And then we see that we have all of the annotations that the student used here. We have the comments, we have um, highlighting here, uh, any text that they insert, any drawings will show up as well uh, that the student did. Go ahead and give your student a score. Give them a comment if you want, go ahead and submit it. Now the teacher is done with their part, work is graded, everything's turned in and all set to go. So that's how you're gonna use Cami with Schoology. To use the Cami website to create copies for your students, let's follow these procedures here. As a teacher, you're gonna log in uh, to cami.com. You're gonna open from Google Drive, select PDFs at the top. When your PDFs load, go ahead and either uh, search my name or find your PDF, select the PDF that you wanna provide a copy for your students. Go ahead and select it. Okay, so here's the PDF assignment uh, from the teacher perspective. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually go ahead and click share document. You can either select my domain, which is gonna restrict the people who can access to this copy to um, at GUHSD, or you can do anyone with a link. Um, but either way, make sure that they have view access only. Whether you're choosing my domain or anyone with a link, make sure that viewer is selected. And go ahead and click copy, and it's gonna make a copy of this PDF through Cami. What you'll do is you'll send this um, link out to your students in any way that you normally would. I'm gonna now switch to the student perspective. So I'm a student and I've been provided the URL by my teacher, however they access it. In this case, I'm just gonna paste it into my web browser to show you from the student perspective how they're gonna create their own copy. As soon as they pop it in, they have view access to it. And now to create the copy, uh, what, the, what the student would do is that they just um, try to use one of these tools real quick. So if I click markup and do highlighter, any type of editing I try to do, I'm gonna get a prompt from Cami that says the owner of this document, uh, me or you in this case, if you do it, has not granted you permission to edit. To edit it, create your own copy. And you're gonna create your own copy. This is gonna be stored in Cami, the student Cami account, because we're looking at the student perspective now. And we know that uh, Cami also connects to Google Drive, so the students have this in their Google Drive as well. Now that I've made my own copy, uh, I can choose to do whatever I want as a student. I can edit it when I'm ready to turn it in. Go ahead and share the document. The student would select uh, either my domain or anyone with a link can view. And the student would copy this link here to their file and then turn it into their teacher in the way that they see fit.